Flood Auto Group Sports Wrap continues on Fox Providence. Welcome back to the Sports Wrap. Who needs a weigh-in when we can have the two fighters in the Channel 12 studios here? September 18th, we got a big one at Twin River. You see it right here behind us. Angel Camacho Jr. undefeated on his career. This man right here, uh, Rich Jingris, has the belt right now, 14 and 4. You guys are going for the New England Light Heavyweight Championship a few weeks out now. What's the mentality as you stand next to your respective opponent? Oh, we're professionals, so no big deal, right? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> you know, He's a good get, guy. Yeah, it's two get in the ring. That's good. Yeah, and then that's at, once you get in the ring, how do you see this playing out? Because you guys haven't fought before. Well, it's contrasting styles, you know, and he's, he's a mover and a sticker, you know, I'm, I'm more of a banger. So uh, this is going to make an interesting fight. Right. You know, it's going to make it exciting for the fans. Absolutely. I agree. I'm, I'm going to do my best to, to box him, and he's going to do his best to, to get me on the ropes or in the corner and, and bang on me, yep. you know. Everyone knows the preparation of boxing is so key. Talk about your training regimens as you approach this fight. Well, um... Boxing training and, 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 and camp is, is just brutal. It's, it's hell. But, you know, the harder that you make your camp, the easier the fight is. Mm. So, um, you know, the goal is to make it as hard as possible, you know. Yeah, you, you train your butt off. You train as hard as you can so that way the night of the fight you make it a little easier on yourself. Now, this fight, of course, is getting some pretty good promotion already. You've had some big fights against Vladim Biasi, Peter Manfredo Jr., some local guys. Um, do you see the excitement building with this one, you and Angel? Oh, definitely, because they haven't had a really high-profile fight at Twin River since um, it'd be about a year from our fight coming up when I fought McCready. Mm -hmm. uh, I beat him for the UBF title. And I was defending my uh, New England title, and I ended up winning his title at the same time. So um, it's been kind of uh, quiet there for a little while. So they, they, they're due for a good high-profile fight, and this one's going to bring it. Yeah. What do you think about f fighting at Twin River here, big boxing area? You know, I, I've, I've fought there plenty of times. I, you know, uh, since my comeback, I've uh, you know been winning these fights to work my way up to get the opportunity. And Rich, thank you very much. He, g he gave me the opportunity to fight for his belt, and uh, I, I very much appreciate it. You know, it's going to be the biggest fight of my career, the toughest fight of my career, um, and we all know that. So we're training. You know, get our, our training is geared towards that. Now the state of Rhode Island historically has been a big boxing area. Um, how do you get the sport to maybe where it was in the heyday? We were talking off camera about Vinny Paz. How do we get the excitement to build even more? Fighters fighting fighters. Fights like this, that's what's going to do Stop it. ducking. People need to stop <laughs> yeah. doing fighters. We need to fight each other. You know, right. it, it, this isn't, you don't have to get all crazy and be enemies and start all this stuff. I mean, we're, I like this guy. He's a good guy. Yeah. But, you know, September 18th, we're going to try to kill each other. Right. And then afterwards, I'll give him a big hug after. You know what I mean? It's, but fighters need to fight fighters. Real fighters need to fight real fighters. Yeah, unfortunately, it's not looked at like any other professional sport. Um, you know, they go out there and they, they do their job, and, then, and that's what they do. And that's what we need to do is go out there and do our job. But that doesn't mean we need to be, um, you know, low class when we're not fighting. Right. You know, act like a professional. Carry yourself like a professional. Absolutely. Last question. I'm going to put you on the spot. Who wins this fight and how? I'm going to win the fight. The fight. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm going to win the fight. I'm going to break them down. And um, this is how it's going to go. It's I'm going to be in, a, in an insanely great shape. And I'm just going to box and move around, move around, box and box. And I'm going to make him, he's going to press me the whole night. This is going to be an incredible fight. People are going to yeah. love that. Yeah. He's going to press me all night long. He's going to take any shots that I give him. I'm going to duck any shots he tries to come at me with. And it's just going to be 10 rounds of nonstop punch and nonstop action. Tag right. earns. <laughs> there we go. All right, September 18th. You see it right there. Looking forward to it at Twin, Twin River. Good luck, guys, with the continued preparation, and we'll be watching. Thanks. Much more from the Sports Wrap coming up right after this.